Daniel. I mean, like all side, we're just like looking at it from both sides. Hawk maybe not flawless, Major just excellent because let's not forget, he was down 16 workers with a yeah. very late third base. Normally as a Terran player, that's almost at the point where a lot of Terrans will just give up and they're like, you know, to yeah. hell with it with this game. It's almost impossible that's to really come back. That's a really good point. The, the Oracle play from Huck was brilliant. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Uh, the missile turret, I like, by the way, the snap cancel that you point out from Major. It was, it was in a position that maybe it was for perhaps DTs or something like that, but instead, he's like, Oracle, nope, cancel, boom, and then he replaced inside the natural. Little things like that are what separate the, the very good professionals like Major from the rest of us who would otherwise waste the, the 100 minerals on the, or the 75, excuse me, on that missile turret finishing. Yeah, it was cute. Either way, so far, a really entertaining series between these two excellent North American players. I'm definitely enjoying it. Hopefully, all you guys at home as well, and especially the StarCraft 2 fans that came out here to the Northwest Convention Center in Austin, Texas, if I have that correct. Is that what it's called? I have no idea. It sounds really official. It's, yeah, it's a really nice venue on the inside. When we pulled up to it, I thought we were doing this at a bowling alley. I was <laughs> like, huh. Interesting take, Texas, but ended up making a lot of sense. Let's go ahead and introduce these players in the top. Left-hand side, representing evil geniuses, it is Huck. And his opponent, hailing from the great country of Mexico, it is Major. Or, in Spanish, which it took me five years to build up to this moment in time, but I could tell you, they pronounce it Mexico. Did you know that? <laughs> I did know that because Mr. Bidder yeah. always said that. Did he really? Yeah. And what Mr. a racist. Is, <laughs> Mr. Bidder is really keen on his uh, little Spanish skills. He's a very <laughs> proud American, but he does speak a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> Mr. Bidder, he is actually something that's missing from Lone Star Clash because of all of us, it, him and Axeltoss are the only ones with the accent that could actually do it justice. The thing is, once Ben starts as well, he can't stop. By the end of the oh. cast, we won't be able to understand him. Well, I, yeah. I, Except for everybody in the audience, I guess. Uh, I mean, Texas is kind of a state on its own. It's not really like... He, he's from Atlanta, not, Georgia, right? Yeah, he's I know. Got the, he's yeah. got the real south, the south. Texas is just Texas. It doesn't That's really true. include the south. Yeah, be very careful what you say from here, because <laughs> our know. friendship runs deep, but I don't know if, it, if it's uh, me holding off a mass of people with pitchforks trying to murder you. <laughs> uh, I, have, I have nothing but love for Texas. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Nexus first over here yeah. for Hawk on a map like Frost. Now, we don't see that every day. I think Major is going to be very pleased to scout this. Well, Because yeah. that also means that he doesn't have to worry about a whole lot of things. Of course, you know, he might be spacing or facing a small economic deficit, but Major, above all, Terrence just wants to make sure that he knows what he's playing against. It's interesting. Uh, this SCV scout from Major is, again, kind of going back to that theme, very safe, but also the right call here. Now, this Reaper, I feel like, should head in the direction of bottom left. Let me follow this line, though. Yeah, it's going to the tower. So it's not going to get there as fast, I feel. Like, this SCV has to go all the way to the top left before Major knows to go there. It seems like he's cutting his travel time in half by going to the tower. Does he make his way to the left? Yes. So he will end up heading to the left. And that's, that's Huck's little luck, by the way. If this Reaper did make its way all the way up there, I still think Huck's probably OK. But it would cost him a probe or two or three. Mm. Now, as it is, as it is right now, there's a really good chance he gets a stalker out before any Reaper ever ends up up there. Yeah, it definitely helps out a lot. But, but I mean, it is cross, so he would still have a little bit of time. Yeah. The Zealot can always run around the Reaper, makes it a lot harder for the Reaper to actually kill. We see a really quick factory follow-up. So of course, there was a command center on the low ground, but this is still a really quick factory for Major. And I'm curious to see where he's going to take it. He can still take it many ways. Yeah, that's that's the kind of cool thing about that factory is it literally could be just about anything. That's the Swiss Army opening. Huck immediately pulls back those probes. And as you said, the Reaper's going to try to hunt out its one kill, uh, at least. Getting that kill, sell it with the one wow, swipe. This, the stalker is actually pretty far off. He's going to get a second one, yeah. I think. He, sh he could. If he goes in that mineral line, it could get dicey. Oh, dicey! <laughs> Very dicey, but the Reaper is still alive. Yeah. A lot of mining time has been lost, though. Uh, eh. Killing eh. the Reaper is nice, but... A lot of mining time? Yeah, I mean, he pulled every single worker, so that's at least 100 minerals that he's losing there. Sure. Yeah. And a little bit of gas. I mean, it's, it's not interesting over here, over on the right top side of the map. Look at what Hux is doing. It's Hux's little scouting probe. Okay. Wants and it to be more than just a scouting probe. Yeah, it, it's going to be, by the way, that kind of one, at least what we've seen from Major in the past, is one Widow Mine, a bunch of Marine drop. Ooh. And if that Marine finds the Stargate, that would just be silly. Forget about it. I don't think it will, though. Nah. 
it's on like. In fact, Hux is going to try to breach this ramp. He's got the one stalker, which can't do it, but with the Zealot, it should, uh, it, it could doesn't reveal the Widow Mine, I guess. Yeah, that, that would already be nice. That would be more than uh, Hawk basically needs. No, nah, it won't be enough. Yeah, doing, Major is doing this very well. Yeah. Of course, Hawk can't really pick oh, up he, this ramp. He found the Stargate. No way. Major. Christopher Columbus over here. This guy. In a blue suit. This guy. Now, what's kind of interesting about that is I feel like, you know, obviously the Oracle can't do Jack and Squad. Uh, or he will do Jack and Squad. Uh, that being said, though, there is a Widow Mine in the natural. If he can avoid that, then it'll continue to be that <laughs> Oracle we saw from game over two. I love this, by the way. Putting the Marine on the Oracle. It's a booby trap. Oh, that is nice. The Oracle's going to fly in. He's like, oh, there's a low HP Marine. I can take out this Marine, but Hawk's probably not going to fall for Huck, that. Though, yeah, he's, gonna, he's not hitting directly to the natural. It's really nice. But to finish my thought, this also buys time for Huck. Huck's adding cannons to the, nat the mineral lines. I don't know. Maybe he was always going to do that, but it's 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 a nice little uh, buy time thing that he's doing. Very good. Here, here comes the Oracle. Will Hawk pay it? Is he even going to try for the uh, mineral line? Probably not. He's going to pull up these two SUVs, slow down the production like a little this. bit. He sees the factory, and at least for right now, he's avoiding it. Yeah, I think it's smart. Also, I mean, it got scouted, and in the majority of the yeah. time, it's going to be hard for you to do a lot of damage. Photon Oak has been casted. Widow Mine goes down in an interesting position, but it's in range of this cannon, so it will still get shot down. Yeah, it does nothing. It kills one probe, excuse me. Uh, and then inside the main, not a lot here, but enough, especially with that one Marine giving some free shots to the Photon Overcharge. Oracle's coming back. Uh, he might get a sentry here. Yeah, he gets a sentry. That's nice. Even saving a couple of these Marines, but in the end of the day, uh, this could have been a lot worse for Hawk. Hawk's yeah. still 12 workers ahead, of course, you know, that is the power of that Nexus first. And despite going Nexus first and proxying a Stargate, yeah. he has completely relied on this Photon Overcharge to defend him against anything silly that a Major can throw at him, and of course these cannons as well, so he never you know stopped producing probes. Kevin, you know what's worth mentioning here? Tell me. These barracks are just now upgrading Stim and presumably Combat Shield here in a second. Uh, and we're at the we're past the nine minute mark. We're close to ten minutes, so it's very late. I feel like that attack power is not there, but perhaps if you look at what, what's ramping up here for Huck, it might be more of a question of defense power. It looks like he's going to go for a third nexus, and honestly, uh, same thing, different analysis. So so Major can't really challenge this. Those drops that did him such good work, uh, not even drops, excuse me, but just the stimmed Marine force with the medevacs to get out of uh, uh, harm's way. Mine. The booby trap. It did work. He got it. Yeah, he got it. Oracle came back, tried to do something about it. So that's nice. It's going to make it a little harder for uh, Hawk right now from this point on to figure out what's going on. He has sentry, so he can always hallucinate a unit and the observer is across, making his way across the map. And of course, showing misinformation too. He, he, you know, Twilight Council gets scouted, low, low gateway count. That more often than not leads into Charge Light Archon Storm. But it's actually Colossus again. You, saw, you said the Twilight got scouted? Did it not? No? Never mind. Back to you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how did he scout it? Like, I just assumed. I saw his, uh, you know, he had, he had some Bioforce inside the main. <laughs> no, he didn't see the Twilight just yet. Major oh. doesn't know what he's playing against. Hawk wrapping in a lot of Stalkers, so he's gonna, really going to rely on Blink. We're just about to finish up. Uh, Blink, of course, excellent. Oh, actually, he wipes in all these Stalkers on the right top side of the map to keep this uh, yeah. Stargate alive, and he shuts down a medevac that was full of eight Marines. Well done there by Hawk. I mean, these Stalkers will serve a purpose eventually. Yeah, and actually, Major, look at this. He's not going to be deterred. He's going to try to intercept the Stalkers, but Steam, he has to be careful. Steam is still not ready either. Yeah. So he gets one Stalker. But if he's not careful, this medevac goes down as well. And and all these Marines I, I think down. he, yeah, he, he actually might just, he's got to be so careful. I, I keep saying that. I know. I'm, I'm like his mom or something. <laughs> now it's three medevacs and Marauders are out. So here's what Major's doing, I feel. Stim's about to finish. He's trying to buy time, but also get back to what did him such, such work in game number two. That poke and prod play. He did finally lose that metaphor. So. Yeah, good. You, you, were right. on, you were onto something. <laughs> I was onto something. Yeah. I like that. Uh, the third is going to land for Major, but kind of like uh, Kevin and I talked about from game number one, Huck already saturating his third, so he's in a great spot. A lot of times it's not a question of whether or not the, the Protoss and Terran will take their thirds. And again, as we talked about, Terrans will take it earlier, even often. Uh, but here, Huck has beat him to that race two out of three times, almost three if he wouldn't have got it canceled in game number, game number two. 
55 army supply against 53 is of course something that Huck is more than fine with, especially because he can always rely on photon overcharge and he has a couple of cannons all around. So I think it's safe to say that as long as Huck doesn't desperately misplace this, he yeah. should be in a good position. Uh, Frost is also a hard map to drop as in, like as long as the natural and this base are protected, it's very hard to drop the main because he basically he's going to have to fly right yeah. in between both bases and there's a good chance that your Metafax will get spotted and or sniped. So you don't really want to do this. So Hawk is very safe from this point, and we'll probably just try to mark her up for a while. Major splitting up here to, to again return back to that gameplay that did him such work uh, in game number two. But a zealot warp in and a couple of cannons means that Major's going to have to bail out of this. And with playing stalkers on the field, he's going to have to be very careful. Oh, I don't uh, like well, that blink too much. Unless they blink forward like that. <laughs> <laughs> and now Major's circling around. He has two medevacs on the lower left-hand side here as well. And that Nexus will not be long for this world, as Artosis would say. Nope, that Nexus is going to get cancelled pretty much immediately. At least I hope it gets cancelled. Yes, it will. Oh, yeah. Colossus moving forward, though, sniping a couple of those bio units. These marauders will uh, most likely work on this pilot and finally shut that down. I still kind of like Hawk's position because yes. Hawk is going completely uncontested on these three bases. He has Colossus, Storm is on the way, already has Blink, his charge is about to finish up. We know that Hawk is very good if he has three bases and he stabilizes. He's getting his fort as well. He showed off excellent patience on Altazim, and I don't see why this game would play out very different for him. Yeah, I, I have to agree. I really like his position. Now, uh, rather than go everything you said, because I agree with it, I, I would just say that <laughs> at the same time... You can repeat me, Jeff. It's a lot of people could look at Major and, and say the same thing. Major's third has been untouched. The Oracle died to that booby trap of the Naturals, so you'll notice there's no missile turrets around these bases. It's a very low cost in terms of static defense, and that's, that's Major right now. Major wants to be out on the field. He wants to be fast and limber to try to get work done that way. Um, and right now is his... He's been, a, he's been doing a very good job of keeping these guys alive. They haven't done a lot of damage, the, the medevac units out here. Getting a stalker there for their efforts as well. Uh, but they're buying time for that super army that you had talked about, Kevin. The, the ghosts and the Vikings. We already see ghosts being yeah. produced five at a time. Holy cow. Uh, four and Vikings, a lot of Vikings at a time too. as well. Yeah, so four. it's indeed very similar. But I must say I was a little bit disappointed with the outcome of that game on all yeah, the team. I know. Because that fight was not the way that it was supposed to go. And this is not like my Protoss bias shining through. Like, oh, Rotterdam doesn't know how good Colossus and Storm yeah. is. Like, no, I know that it's very powerful. But I also know I that like there that are... voice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I also know that there are Terran players out there that have excellent goals Viking could throw with all the yeah. scans, and then it's not as easy as just move forward and drop a couple of storms. Yeah, I agree. That that one uh, tricked me as well, but again, maybe we are just both grossly biased to Protoss. <laughs> and there's the feedbacks as well to make that hurt. A couple of Templar making themselves into Archons, and this for us, uh, it's just trading back and forth, and look at Huck. Kevin, you're right, he learned. Scan from Major says, wait a second, you're not supposed to be moving in this direction. Why are you doing that? Well. Huck is a learning robot. He says, you know what, what? game number oh. two. Oh, the Arkham is trapped. <laughs> yeah, he's, he'll be free. He gets busted out of that pile of prison. And now Major's on the back foot, so what do we look to? All right, well, in the, in the meantime, Major's built up this Viking count. He does not have a mech upgrade, but there it is completing just now, so this will be plus one attack. Behind this, he's also been upgrading his bio, but I... Look at this. He has one armor upgrade completed. He's getting three attack. Is this a mistake, or does he only have one engineering bay? I think he... No, he, I think he has two because I he saw... He does have two. Yeah, I saw two being researched. He's doing an absolutely terrible job of upgrading, I gotta say. These yeah. Colossus are gonna have yeah. a good time from the high ground, by the way, with these sockets as well. Vikings are coming in. It's a lot of Vikings. A couple of fake Colossus being hallucinated. I like that. Yep. I like that a lot. Uh, there's no Mothership War with this army. A bunch of Zealots are gonna run towards this fort base, but this is a planetary fortress, so this should be okay for Major. Yeah, there's no pylon in the area. That does give me concern, though, because yeah. if they were to have... And actually, there's a widow mine here. Of all things, look at that. <laughs> it's going to get a hallucination. <laughs> uh, but to finish out my thought, with no pylon down here, if they were to have a major engagement, and it looks like Huck's kind of stuck on this idea, he's not able to warp in a lot of units. Now, he has a warp prison moving around to the right side of the map. I feel like what he wants to do, and if you look at his uh, kind of shift movement right. here that he had queued up, He's going to want to engage, loosen supply, and then warp it in the main base. And that's a very powerful oh, technique. Oh, well, those high tempers were very clumped up. The Colossus got EMP'd immediately. That means that they are sitting ducks right now for these Vikings. Major is scanning. He's like, that's not a whole lot of high templars. Yeah, and these, those still... are all whiffing storms, by yeah. the way. He has to be careful. Yes, he's going to warp in a lot of units uh, in the main base, like you stalkers, said. Stalkers, yeah, they're by themselves. But, they're, they're just having a tough uh, time here. This is a really bad fight for Huck. He's yeah. going to need to turn this around. There is that warp prism in the main. There's a warp in. 
and that's going to be a big pain in the butt for yeah. Major to deal with. But with with Vikings coming over here, it's not going to be unending. No, but it's still a lot of zealots. If this eBay gets sniped with that plus three attack, and that's definitely the way that it looks oh, like. Wow. Engineering Bay will go down, two goals will go down. Okay, this was already successful for yes. Hawks. And by the way, he has like two more prisms out on the map because he had like three prisms in a certain point. Okay, they're both sitting over here. Hawk realizing, hey, that went pretty good. Let's try that again. Yeah, he's going to lose that final Colossus. EMP is coding the Templars so on the left side. This fight does nothing. But to your point, Kevin, getting the armory, getting the engineering bay, well, it, it means that Major, I mean, I, he, did he actually miss out on that plus one mech upgrade or no, that, that completed, right? Yeah, no, uh, I think that it one did got complete. canceled as well. Oh, okay. Something but else still. got canceled. Maybe it was plus two. I think it was plus two. You're right. Yeah. Uh, and Major is, is remaking the armory, so another real threat there is that Major doesn't know they lost that armory, and all of a sudden, you know, he realizes uh -oh. much later. Uh oh, this would be awesome. This is like what we really need over here at the Lone Star Clash Invitational. Nukes. A nuke. <laughs> that guy out there needs nukes. <laughs> he doesn't hear it at home, but someone just randomly screamed. Uh, now, again, the other lasting damage of this, Huck takes a fifth base behind it. He builds cannons. He's securing it very nicely with a lot of uh, Templar and cannons. Oh, I like this by a major. He builds up a lot of missile turrets over here in the natural. It's going to make it a lot harder for this walk yeah. to enter. Good luck getting through that. It does not, but there's a storm drop queued up to go behind a base that has no STVs, actually, by the way. <laughs> a couple. And Huck did it too soon. The Templar have no energy. This is a little bit of a an embarrassing moment for everyone, I think. <laughs> they are at least <laughs> behind enemy lines. And device. now we have enough energy. All right, bring the STVs. No, they did. He did. No. <laughs> 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 I didn't even know this. Here come the Vikings as well. That's actually a reasonable storm on these Vikings. Yeah. That's a lot of unanswered yeah. damage. So, and Had a couple of storms in the middle map as well. The army gets softened up here. Hawk has so many gates. He has 18 gateways. Yeah, that's a lot. And he has Templar spread out, which I really like. How many do uh, we have? We are only five right now. If there's ever a moment for Major to fight, this might be it. It's 34 that's zealots. That's so many zealots, though. Yeah. That's, yeah, but like... Only nine wouldn't, ghosts. Wouldn't you rather face Zealots than Colossus and High Templars? Uh, yeah. I mean, well, I guess... I don't know. There's 17 Vikings. I mean, that's... As long as they don't get stormed into oblivion, that's going to deal with Colossus. Nuke. Ah, oh, he's going to use the Nuke to uh, deal with the cannons. It's super smart. I love this play by Major. And Huck. Uh, well, Major. Uh, Major. He knows. He knows. Yeah. He'll either cancel it or retreat out of it. He knows, right? Yeah, he canceled. Uh, uh, uh. My heart skipped a couple of beats over All there. of our hearts skipped some beats. And, and you know what? To your point, Kevin, we're going to have that engagement here. The Zealots charging so in. Many zealots. That's the a Vikings. lot of Zealots. And they're holding up for the most part. The Ghosts, however, have cloaked oh. it. It doesn't seem to be any detection here. He's scanning for it. The Vikings are looking for it. The Ghosts are sitting here dealing all the damage. And it looks like, yes, the Zealots were enough to run that army down. And all of a sudden, these Ghosts are by themselves. <gasps> I mean, they're doing damage right now, but the rest of the Terran army got torn up. Yep. Uh, that was a really awkward fight. That was weird. I, what I, I like those major mass expand on the lower map, by the way. Uh, if Huck doesn't scout that, you just drop all your mules on those bases. If this game goes on, is there any army for... Uh, major doesn't have much in the way of an army. What is... Uh, he has a lot of ghosts in the middle of the map. Yeah. Kind of slow. Huck's just made zealots. Yeah. Lots and lots of zealots. And Templar, if you look over at his third. Oh my or god. Fourth. He... Yeah, those are Templar. That is an exp. Oh! This is the Templar pain train. Storm's <laughs> going down in the major engagement. Lots and lots of zealots here, like we said. Ghosts are flanking the army, but even the front core of the army is just ignoring the ghosts. He doesn't have attention. Deal with it. Or uh, detection, excuse me. The zealots are running everything down. Vikings dying right and left. Medivac's having a tough time. There comes that slow poke observer. When the fight's over yeah. and done with. <laughs> and the ghosts are out of energy. It's just like, hey guys, I'm kind of here. But Huck, again, Huck traded great. Wiping 18 zealots. 18 most he loves zealots. I mean, I think that was an okay trade, but he cannot do this again. Because, like, finally, 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 this plus three will be ready for Major. Yeah. And that's not just Major's mistake. He lost at eBay. That was unfortunate. That was well done by Hawk. So we can't fault Major too much with yeah. that. But these zealots are going to be less effective from this point on. Uh, they'll still be good. Zealots, good unit. I'm not going to say they're not. But oh, Orbital almost burning down as well. This, Mule this is going to be a hard fight for Major to hold off, I yeah. feel. Uh, there's a lot of Archons here, so normally you look at that and say, okay, yeah, EMP softens them up. Look at the low energy of the Ghosts, though. They were cloaked yeah. for so long. This time, Hawk also brought five observers. <laughs> Detection will not be an issue. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's a good angle for Major, though. And uh, Huck can't do much here. I, I don't know that Huck should be targeting this base so hard. Yeah, this base has been getting mined for a while here, and it's not a good angle. Here come the Templar. Oh, oh yeah. The Templar paint train, like you called it. Thank you. 
And he's gonna, again, the, the angle here is so good for Major, but the Storm's kind of zoning him out. All the while, Ghost getting up the energy, though. EMPs just devastate this army. It's either Templar or Archons making up most of the damage here. We have a single Colossus. I believe a second one's coming out. Actually, this is quite funny. That Widow Mine, once again, okay, it does die. Uh, Huck is going to randomly find this, this lone planetary. And that's actually really good for Huck. Yep. Because if that goes undetected, that's such a good base for Major. Uh, no, Huck played excellent for a while, but he has been throwing away a lot of units as well. And of course, he yeah. had the economy to do it, guys, so it's not just all wrong. But we can see he has to start being a little careful. I'm happy to see he went back to Colossus production. I think that was really important. Yeah. You know, the Zealot Archon, it was awesome for a while. But with the upgrades that Major has right now, it's really important that Huck gets some power units out again. This is a free base, Kevin. Uh, it looks like the Harvesters are going to be able to squeak, squeak by, and that's really good for Huck. But otherwise, that Nexus dies. And what does Huck get in trade? He's going to go over here towards this third base, but it's getting picked up and just lost. I think he's going to try to step on top of the production. Yeah. This is interesting, because these are a lot of expensive units for Major. Major's going to run up his ramp immediately. He should be able to land some really sick EMPs. I'll tell you what, though. The Vikings on that high ground are, are being a nuisance. Yeah. Two storms completely whiff. A third storm completely whiffs. Oh, that EMP. EMP gets most of the Templar. There's only two with any kind of energy, and now the Vikings can move out. Really, all they're afraid of is sitting under a storm or Archons, and there's just not much of either. There's, well, as I say that, <laughs> more than enough of both, I guess. And the final mining base of Major is, is getting torn apart. It's all about bottom left now, and his counterattack. His counterattack is definitely doing some work. That is a 25 Zealots <laughs> being warped in over here for Hawk. That, is, that, that should probably be enough. Yeah. No, it's a really bad angle to fight. It doesn't matter. Zealots. There's just so many. <laughs> like, even if they die at this point, Sparta. they've whittled this army down. This is Sparta, man. Oh, there's DTs in there as well. Yeah, Major, that's it. Major loses his ability to counterattack. He's not really mining except for lower left. Forget all that, though. Huck is marching through the natural. These Colossus don't uh, really have an answer. Major still steps forward. In the mix, and these Marauders are actually getting very close. So these Colossus will fall, but look at the supplies. Yeah. 44 against 114. <laughs> what a great fight. What a great game and great series between these two guys. But it seemed like Huck was just a little too rich this game for Major. I feel like uh, someone should tell Huck about the ability to build pylons on the other side of the map because it's <laughs> it's it's like a... It's getting weird seeing all these pain trains just come across the map. It's like, <laughs> and now here's the next wave of units. <laughs> And they're going to go over there. Huck transferring probes over to... Huck is going to warp yep. in like... A, okay, he just warped in another Nexus. So I think Soon is going to warp in a ridiculous amount of High Templars. Because he has quite a bit of gas. Yeah. And, and Major's scouting around with this medevac to see what kind of, you know, game he's... If, if he has a chance. He's kind of scouting around. And he'll be happy to see that the top right-hand side is not being mined. It's, it's really down to that fourth base in the middle of the map. And then the long-distance mining of this other, you know, soon-to-be-concluded base over here as well. But... You said it earlier, uh, Huck's up 100 supply. It would be incredible if Major carves a win out from here. Uh, Army supply was kind of close for a while, but of course Huck still has a big bank. Uh, it's really silly because Major lost all of his SUVs. Yeah. Uh, and is Huck going to find the base? He is. That Zealot is, is going to go rob Major of, of the little bit of wind he has in his wings. Wait a second. Did it not? Yeah, I did see it. Okay. It just turned back so readily. I was like, wait a second. No, but he saw it. This base, again, without any kind of support whatsoever, it was it was here purely off the fact that maybe Huck would not find it, but he did. Planetary will fall, so that was the last mining base for Major. A few minerals left over here, this original turret, which well, he uh, relocated. And a DT shows up. <laughs> Even killing a ghost in the process. Uh, slow and painful death right now for our Terran. <laughs> representing. Look at Major's attack in the middle of the map. He has more medevacs than anything else. <laughs> uh, who said? <laughs> Mexico with the great health issues. Yeah. So. Guys, we got your back. <laughs> but uh, even the DT is so expensive right now. It's killing SCVs, but also any scan, like that scan right there, very expensive for, for Major. And, and now, once again, Huck is going to get that backfield on the high ground. Major's going to pick up, looking to counterattack somewhere, but he, he just doesn't know about this brand new base over here for Huck that is actually oversaturated by quite a large margin. Yeah, Hawk is playing it very safe from now, and he doesn't want to make a mistake of again running into a bunch of cloak units somehow or something like that. But he's going to move forward, and he sees that there's just not a whole lot left for Major. Major never completed his armor upgrades. Either. I really felt that the plus three snipe on yeah. that engineering bay was so crucial. It was a big deal. Yeah, I think otherwise that fight on the north side of the map wouldn't have gone as good for Hawk as it actually went. All of a sudden, warping in like, you know, 30 some odd zealots yeah. is a good move.
uh, when you have such a huge supply advantage. Major's not going to give up. He's turning around. He's trying to find some kind of opportunity to, to poke at the soft underbelly. That army, by the way, for Major is down to one Marine and then 20 medevacs. <laughs> oh, never mind. That was just the, that was the rhinoceros in the back. Major is unfortunately as on the ropes as you could possibly get. He's just looking for something. There's the GG and Huck takes the series two to one.